I want to preface this video with an explanation. First, I'd like to state that I am not a racist. Some of the things I say might trigger some people. They might offend some people, but that's on them to feel that way. I speak my mind and I speak the truth as I know it. And from time to time, I may refute some things that I hear out there that are historically inaccurate or that I have a differing opinion, maybe even a strong differing opinion on. And that may cause some people to get upset and they may want to label me a racist. And if you do, I really don't care, but I am definitely not a racist. From time to time, I will complain about our government at different levels, from local all the way to national. But it doesn't mean I'm an anarchist. I love my country. I love the United States of America. It is the greatest country on the earth, and I am blessed to live here and to be able to raise a family here. But I also believe that I have the right to complain about things that I, that I experience or I witness within our government, from our government, that are perhaps um, unjust in my opinion or inefficient in my opinion. In my opinion, our government answers to us, the taxpayers, but in my experience, they don't behave that way. So getting those two disclaimers out of the way, I'd like to say that a few months back, I had considered doing a video, more or less, giving, uh, I guess, a message to Black Lives Matter. Not that anybody from Black Lives Matter would ever watch any of my videos, and not that uh, anybody really cares, but I just wanted to use my channel as an outlet for me to speak my mind to them, to give them a message from me to them. And I decided against it in the end, and it's not because I was afraid of retribution or anything else like that. I just said, you know what, I'm going to stay out of this. But the thing is, though, when I've been a panelist on live shows and we've discussed the situation, I haven't held my tongue. And I've made some other videos that could be considered controversial by somebody looking to create problems, looking for racism or anyism, any sort of bigotry. If you're looking for it, you'll find it. You can twist people's words, you can twist people's actions, you can twist our history to fit your narrative. So if that's the case, then why not give a message to them? And the message I originally had was that Black Lives Matter, you're a terrorist organization, and all of you can go fuck yourselves. But, you know, that sounds a little petty, a little immature, and real basic. And, like I said, I just decided, nah, don't make that video. It's, it's, there's no point to it. Recently, though, in the suburbs of Seattle, I guess Black Lives Matter decided to go down there to protest, and they were demanding that the residents surrender their homes to them. So they finally got out of the liberal controlled cities where they're welcome, these big cities that are falling apart because they've been historically run by liberals and they're just destroying themselves. These places where most Americans don't live, but yet somehow or another they have most of the power in this country. Those places that most of us just don't care about, go ahead, let it burn down, we don't care. You guys got what you deserved. But now they're coming into the suburbs where more, the majority of Americans live and where there are Americans that are not going to be welcoming to organizations, terrorist organizations like Black Lives Matter or Antifa or anything else like that. People who work hard, who are trying to provide a good, safe life for their, their families and who don't want any part of this. So Black Lives Matter decided to go into the suburbs of Seattle and demand that the residents there surrender their homes. And that got me thinking, what if they came into my suburb and demanded I surrender my home? What would I say to them? Would I call them terrorists and tell them to go fuck themselves? No, because that would just fall on deaf ears. They'd just let it go in one ear, out the other. And I thought about it and I thought about it and I said, what would be my message? And then I realized, wait a minute, I know the perfect thing to say to them. It's a message that I never intended to give to terrorists. It's a message I actually never intended to give to any fascists or Marxists or communists or, or, or any of these 
progressive socialist type left wing organizations that are trying to tear down America, tear down what makes us great, tear down our, our equal opportunity in this country and destroy centuries of hard work by all Americans from all walks of life, trying to destroy us from within. I, I never thought I would use this for a group like that. I thought I would use this for another big group that I hope one day I would never have to say this to. So what is my message that I'm going to borrow that I was saving for another organization? What is that message? If Black Lives Matter comes to my suburb, well, here's the message. 